Corvette hop. Today we're going to work on the thermoset housing on this 2014 C7 Corvette. This is what it looks like as a thermostat with the housing all in one. With that, keep those cars on the road. This is what the new thermostat looks like. This is where the hose connected right here and that's where it's broken off. Right there, I must have been, I must have washed it or something and nicked it and and busted it and maybe cracked it at first and then it just got worse and worse. This is the location of the thermostat housing assembly, just to the side of the engine air inlet. Go ahead and disconnect the air sensor assembly. You can do that by doing this right here. This will give you a little extra room to work and operate as you remove the assembly. Next, go ahead and loosen the clamp on the air inlet hose assembly. We'll go ahead and loosen that and push it aside. That will give us a little extra room for working on the thermostat assembly housing. Hey, always think safety when working around vehicles, especially when working around a thermostat housing assembly. The system could be under extreme pressure. It could also cause bodily injuries if not properly cooled down. Remember, always think safety. Go ahead and remove the three bolts that attach the thermostat housing assembly. There are two on the top and one on the bottom. The one on the bottom is kind of hard to get to, but use patience. Use a 10 millimeter wrench or socket. This is another top view of the thermostat housing assembly. Go ahead and continue to remove those three bolts. Notice how the small hose is broken off of the assembly. That's why we're replacing it. Next, we'll go ahead and remove the large hose and the small hose from the thermostat housing assembly. Now, I used a pair of vice grips to compress the clamps on the hoses. Keep in mind, you'll have to remove the large clamp and the small clamp from both hoses. Now, there's a reason why we removed the air inlet sensor and the engine air hose clamp, and that's so that we would have more room. I have to be honest, it's still a little tight removing these hoses, but with a little finesse, you'll be able to get to it. With all three bolts removed, the engine clamps loosened and pulled down. You can pull the thermostat away from the engine assembly. Now, I'll give it a couple of twists out from the large hose, and then you'll be able to remove the entire thermostat housing assembly as one piece. Now, let's go ahead and install the new thermostat. Look at the seal around the thermostat to make it sure that it is in good condition. Make sure that it's completely in the grooves around the thermostat housing. In addition, look at the engine portion. It has a ground groove for that sleeve or that seal to go in. Inspect it to make sure that the old seal is not lodged into the ring. Once the seal has been inspected and determined to be in good, serviceable condition, go ahead and get ready to install the thermostat. A new seal does come with a new thermostat. Now go ahead and work the new thermostat housing assembly into position. Take care with that seal so that you don't damage it as you put it in place. Go ahead and mount all three bolts. Be careful not to cross-thread those bolts. And remember, they're going to be torqued to about 9 to 10 foot-pounds. Now go ahead and take your time when you're installing the bolts. No reason to rust or cause any other damage. Don't forget there are three bolts, one on the bottom too. I love using a ratcheting wrench, especially when there's little room or no room at all. Sure makes for the job to be easier. Remember, this is a 10 millimeter that we're using on these bolts. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, you can get an aftermarket thermostat housing assembly from O'Reilly Auto Parts, part number 81507. However, it is more expensive at $84.99.
I had to use a 10 millimeter socket with an extension to get at the bottom bolt. It's just simply too hard to reach with my hands. The ratchet wouldn't fit down there and not enough room to turn. Of course, like the other two bolts, it was tight 9 to 10 foot pounds. Now you can go ahead and install a small hose to the thermoset housing. already connected the large holes to the thermostat housing. Now I'll go ahead and readjust the hose clamp in the proper position. And I'll go ahead and put the small hose clamp in the correct position. Now you can go ahead and reconnect the air inlet hose and clamp. Move it around so that you get it in the right position and go ahead and tighten down the clamp. Now remember, you will need a 5 16th socket for this clamp. Hey, we're almost finished. Reconnect the air sensor. Next, go ahead and check your coolant levels. Now, GM recommends Dex Cool antifreeze as a replacement. Go ahead and check the levels. Refill as needed. Lastly, go ahead and inspect the area. Make sure all three bolts are tightened. Hoses and hose clamp are in the right position. Inspect the area for any loose tools or equipment. Start the engine and check for leaks. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something. If you like what you saw on this channel, go ahead and subscribe right here. Hey, keep those cars on the road.